All right, guys, if you've been watching my videos, I have been working tirelessly on all of the new launches, new releases, a bunch of PR has been sent to me of all the holiday collections. I've purchased a lot of the holiday collections. So we are working through all this makeup and you guys seem to really be enjoying me testing out all of this new makeup. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> a huge thank you to It Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I have some new products, some tried and true products to talk about today. I'm going for like a glowy, perfected, hydrated look today because my cheeks, I feel like I've been feeling a little bit dry lately. So that means we really gotta focus on this base here. Let's start off with skin prep. Now, exciting news. These are two very popular It Cosmetics products and they have been reformulated. So I'm going to be using these today and talking about them with you and the reformulations. So to moisturize the skin, we're going in with the Now Supercharged Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. I've gone through a couple of these before. I think they're really nice heavy duty moisturizers and I'm really excited about the improvements on them. If you've never seen a Confidence in a Cream before, this is what it looks like. This is a number one anti-aging cream in America and it's an old formulation which I've enjoyed for a while. And now it's even better. I'm just gonna apply it to my face. It has a very smooth application and you can immediately tell what's it. It's applied to your skin that it's intensely hydrated. It now has 48 hours of lasting hydration, which the last one was 24. So two times more anti-armor, which is perfect for applying makeup in the morning. So you know that that moisture is gonna last all day. Now this also has skincare benefits in here as well, including reversing the 10 signs of aging, which I have right here. Maybe you can identify with any of those. So it has these supercharged anti-aging ingredients right here and is a clean and vegan formulation. So while that soaks in, what has also been reformulated is the confidence in an eye cream. Now this baby is gonna solve the four signs of eye fatigue in just four weeks. Has a 2% super peptide concentrate in there as well. Oof, and it feels really eye awakening also. If you aren't putting on eye cream before concealer and you notice your under eyes tend to look a little dry, an eye cream is a great option for before concealer. Kind of helps that area not look quite so creepy and creasy. So my skin is really prepped right now, very, very hydrated, excited about these two reformulations. I mean, the old formulations did a good job, so these are even better. I'm gonna give my skin like five to 10 minutes to soak this in and we'll start working on the base products. For base today, since we are on the theme of it cosmetics, I wanted to use their newest complexion product. This is the CC Nude Glow. I've been enjoying this a lot, especially in the Florida weather. I've had this for months, so this one is like kind of used and abused. What's really great about it that I enjoy is how lightweight it feels on the skin. It has just like a really lightweight, glowy texture to it and the coverage does build up. It has SPF 40 in it, so that's gonna be good for those of you that are in the sun a lot. Let's start applying this. I'm going to use the A Cosmetics number seven brush to just blend this on. Oh wow, it's blending beautifully with this brush. I've been turned into a brush person, you guys. I never used to use foundation brushes, but now I love them. This one is nice and soft and you can see the glow here. We're gonna have to push it in and smooth it out, but. <laughs> so this is the first CC Plus with a 90% skincare formula base. That skincare formula, it provides 24 hours of skin hydration. So it's gonna give you that all day healthy type of glow. I think when I originally tried this, I think I mentioned this as well, it's really cool. If you use this consistently, that skincare is gonna work to give you a healthy glow and brighter skin in just four weeks. It's clinically tested to also provide softness and even skin tone as well which is really neat i mean it cosmetics has always been known for their cc creams because cc creams are so good for the skin especially like me if you have sensitive skin my skin looks good we'll get this little guy here in a second but let's move on to a classic and iconic product that's actually new to me many of you guys have recommended it to me this is the it cosmetics obviously bye bye under eye concealer now for that super hydrated glow less is best with concealer all i'm gonna do is just put a dot on my hand i'm gonna warm it up with my fingers because it does have a little bit of a thicker consistency and then we're just gonna do a dot in the inner corner 
And then let's get a little trendy here and do the lift trick because this is a nice brightening shade. So it's going to do good in lifting the eye. I know it's not the best color, but <laughs> I can't look at it any longer. Okay, and then I'm going to use the small side of the number seven brush. We're just going to work this into the skin. Now this provides full coverage for up to 24 hours. And it's going to cover those dark spots, dark circles, redness, age spots, broken capillaries, all that good stuff that I know we all love. Blending out very nice, you know, it does have that thicker consistency, which might seem alarming when you first squeeze it out. But as long as you warm it up, it'll work out just fine. And using a brush is going to allow you to really customize where you want it to go. I'm going to go in with the bigger side just to spread this out right here. I want to focus a little bit more color in the inner corner. The base looks really good, lightweight, and can't wait to get the rest of the makeup on. I'm very excited. I do have a discount code for you. So if you order from It Cosmetics, if you use the code MAGIC20, that will save you 20% off up to October 15th. And that's going to be on all of the products that I just showed you. There are exclusions like the jumbo size and travel size, but the products I used today you're good to get those for 20% off if you would like. And it's only one time use per customer. Thank you to It Cosmetics for working with me on this video. Let's move on to the rest of the makeup. Side note, I've had this concealer on for like 10 minutes now and it's it's pretty crease proof. Okay, let's work on the eyebrows. I actually have a new product to try from Benefit. Now this is not a new product from Benefit, but Curiosity is killing me. I need to try it. If I don't like it, I will switch over to a product I do like, but this is the brow micro filling pen it looks like i'm not gonna like it but i'm excited it's kind of gimmicky but hopefully in a good way let's see okay okay are you ready look at this lol <laughs> let's see let's see let's take a spoolie brush the brows up i really need to trim my brows they're looking a little funky but another day another time okay i'm scared are you ready Hey, kind of like it. It's weird. I'm not used to using a product like this and I guess to get a straight line, I'll just go like that. I like that it's not too pigmented. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually very natural. I was worried it would be really intense and not cute. Wait a second. I have the shade light brown, so it also is not an intimidating color. And I don't really like that I can just move it kind of sideways to get a straight line if I want. Hold up y'all, I actually kinda like this. I was like worried. I was totally setting myself up for failure. It's actually really nice for getting these hair-like strokes. Mmm, Benefit does it again with another brow product. Okay, let me finish these up real quick and set with the gel. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting to try this. I'm finally trying the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Brightening Finish Whatever Powder. Oh my goodness, this went through it. I accidentally sent this to my parents' house instead of my current address. And it just, it took a while to get to me and then it got lost in translation with all of the new stuff. But finally, I am trying it in today's video. It's the one that comes in this super cool packaging. Okay, let's do it. Let's not waste time. Make sure there's no creases under the eyes. There really isn't. But better safe than sorry. Let's pop this down. Now I'm only putting this in the center of my face because I do have a cream bronzer and cream blush that I want to work with after this. But I want to do my eye makeup first. I just wanted to set my under eyes before I did eyeshadow. Honestly, this looks beautiful. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder Formula just in this new kind of brightening shade. And it is brightening. Wow, it actually is doing that pretty nicely. I mean, I don't have much else to say. It's brightened. It's a formula I'm already familiar with, so it's very beautiful. Typically, I don't love setting my under eye with this powder, but it did pretty good. I actually think the best way to use this would be for me to set my under eyes with my favorite under eye setting powder and then going over this. But it set the makeup really nice and it is surprisingly more brightening than I thought it was going to be. I think it's beautiful. Um, I want to do the eye makeup first before we finish the rest of the face. And I'm so excited. We're about to do an insane look. So Fantasy Cosmetica, which is an indie brand, sent over their newest palette, which is the Bard palette. And I feel like it's a funky fall palette. <laughs> That's how I describe it. You guys love the last video that I mentioned Fantasy Cosmetica. We all agreed. Um, insane, insane formula. So had to play with their newest one. So take a look. Here's the packaging. I'm better cute. 
How fun is this palette? You can still get very neutral looks if you use these four right here, but this offers blue, green, so good for fall, but yet kind of funky, fresh, fun. How many more words can I use to describe this? So I'm gonna do one eye and then we'll do the second one together. As expected, not disappointed at all. I decided to go with the blues on the lid since I'm only wearing black. So we can do whatever we want. Let's get into it. Linged brush E3 and we're starting off with the shade Performance. The perfect base color for a fall look, really any. It's a yellow, but you can neutralize it if you want by adding a brown and then it's, you know, not so much of a bright yellow. If that's not the vibe you're going for, I'm also just gonna run this pretty low along the lower lash line. Refer number 14 brush, and I'm going into Entra Entrapture. Entrapture, yeah, that's the name. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep this lower than the yellow, and we're just gonna go back and forth. So we want this to peek through, but it's not really a major point to today's look. So we're keeping it pretty low. Okay, the best matte for today. We're going into inspiration right here, which is this green. You know, we love greens for the fall. So I'm using this LMR Cosmetics brush, and we are gonna just circle this in the outer corner along the lower lash line and keeping it low in the crease. But you want to focus most of the color out here in the outer corner. Now, you can stop here with the look and just use one of these two shades to get a truly pretty neutral fall look, but I thought the blue would be really fun. You know, the creator of this palette just kind of pushed us into stepping out of our comfort zone and to pair the blue with the green. And surprisingly, it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna go back into the brush that I used with the original yellow shade. And we are going to soften all the edges, maybe even go back into the yellow shade, bring the yellow back out. So I'm gonna start off with Legend, which is the dark blue. Now this formula feels a little different than the last palette I tried from them. The shadows aren't as wet feeling, they're more creamy feeling, which I actually really like. I feel like they adhere to the lid a little better. So I find this to be an improved formula and you can see how reflective and beautiful this shade is. So it does apply best with a finger but it applies great with a brush as well. Just with the brush you get a little bit more fallout which is why I'm using my finger. And I'm going to use a pointy brush, the refer number three, and we're gonna keep this towards the back of the lower lash line. All right, are you ready for a shocking look? Okay, so we went into this shade, right? Lore. Wow. I mean, absolutely stunning. This makes the look, like this is my favorite shade in the palette. I'm scared of blues, but this is gorgeous. It has a really strong green tinge to it as well. So good. So stinking pretty. And then just to kind of like soften and blend everything, I'm going back into Inspirational, which is the green shade. And we're just gonna blend the edges here. And how fun is this? Like I said, funky, fresh, fun, fall eye look. So I definitely recommend this one. I do have a discount code and an affiliate code if you want to pick this up and support a small brand. Really gorgeous and honestly I think they even improved their formula from where I was at with the last formula so I'm very very happy. Okay eyeliner is gonna be fun. I got this set from Kaja. This is the Wink stamp kit but why this is different because I've used this before on my channel is because this is the long version. So they have the original which I did like but I'll be honest, I struggled a little bit to get my wings even. I feel like with a longer tail on the pencil, I'll be able to get them more even because I'll actually be able to see the wing. Let's test it out. I think the eyeliner itself is really good quality and I'm excited about the new size. So we're gonna start off with the black liner and this is just a normal eyeliner. We're using this to just line the upper lash line. And it's nice and black, it's a very good quality liner. All right, let's try the wing stamp now. So there's a left side and a right side. We'll start off with the left side. This is longer. So are we ready? <gasps> I'm nervous, I'm making sure it's in the right spot. Okay, I mean that added a really good guide. I don't feel complete with it though. I think I need to go in with the other liner and kind of fill in. It's gonna take a little bit of practice. Hope it's not lost yet. Let me try the right side. Let's see if I can do this one better. Honestly, 
it's pretty good. I still need to go in and like perfect it. And I think this one is pointing higher than the other one. Okay, this is my problem with this. This is putting out here. This is putting up here. I just need to practice this more. I don't think it's bad. Like the quality is good. The user is failing this product. That's for sure. I mean, it really shouldn't be that hard to use because the product is intended to be easy for the user to use and I do struggle with it. I'm just gonna fill it in. But it does create a good guide, right? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't hate the product. I think the quality is very nice. I like how black it is. I just think you need to practice. It's hard to get the wings even. I'm gonna actually continue using this all week to see if I can master it. What I think I need to do is like find a point on my forehead where I want the wings to go and then I need to practice but it's not bad, but it's not easy for me to use. I'm trying a product that I've never tried before, but it's quite popular. This is from Soul Body, which is ColourPop's body brand, and it is the face and body bronzing balm. I've heard it's a dupe for the Chanel, so let's finally try it. It's definitely inspired by Chanel, I can tell you that. I'm using the shade Light, and I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 106 brush. Let's see. Oh, I think I like it. Blending on beautifully. It's a little bit more creamy than the Chanel. I feel like the Chanel is more cream to powder. But this is nice. I don't notice it messing up my foundation underneath. This particular color is quite warm. I'll have to play with the one I have in shade medium, but I wanted it to stay light because I feel like this color complements my crease color. Short and sweet. I like this. First use, very successful. I don't have much else to say other than I like it. I do have a liquid blush and I'm excited to share this because this is a new brand and I believe they said on the pamphlet that they sent me, they are launching an Urban Outfitters. Never heard of this brand before. It's called Rose, but something about it tells me it's gonna be good, so we're gonna try it. I've been waiting for a video to use this. I didn't wanna just try this on my own in silence. I wanted you to see because I love introducing new brands. So they sent three of these liquid blushes. I'm trying to go with what I think is gonna look good. It's probably gonna be this shade right here, the shade Warmth. Now that I've, I've filled in my wings and I feel like they look kinda good now. I love the packaging, it's so cute and it has a little squirty tube. Now this says it's a liquid to satin formula. This is what it looks like, it has a thicker consistency. I'm gonna use that same 106 brush and it's pretty. Ooh, it has kind of like a cooling feeling when it applies to the cheek. And you don't need a ton. I applied too much. That little squirt was too much. But that's pretty. I need to blend it in with a sponge, I think. I put too much on. I thought it was going to be more liquidy for some reason. But it's very pretty. I love a good liquid blush. My whole head face is orange now, though, <laughs> from using too much of it. But that's very, very pretty. I'm going to take the brush that I used for foundation. We're going to kind of mesh this in so it's more natural. It does dry down. It still looks really good though, but it does look a tad drying for it being like a liquid formula, but it could also just be it doesn't agree with the products I put underneath, which is fine. I think my main issue is I applied too much of it, so it doesn't look good on the edges of where I applied it. So less is more with this product. It's a pretty product, but less is definitely more. I definitely am gonna have to do a take two on that, so stay tuned for my speed reviews. I was gonna set with powder. I have this Summer of Love palette from Trixie Cosmetics. I tried a lot of their products in another testing new makeup video and I just, I was vibing. I loved the products and I had this one that I still wanted to try. This has two blushes, which I'm not gonna put on today because they don't match the blush I'm wearing and I think this one is good on its own. But I do want to try this after school special highlight. It has a pinky undertone. It's not gonna match the look, but the palette is so cute. I want to use it, so let me use it. I mean, look at this packaging though. It is so cute, okay. Okay, it is very, very pink. I was not expecting it to be that pink, but it's pretty. I've been using the highlights in this one from Trixie Cosmetics. It's a bronzer and highlight duo. That one is really cute as well. Very good quality. This one's pretty too. I chose the wrong look though. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use something that's not new. I'm gonna mix in this highlight from the Trixie Cosmetics bronzer duo. This one's a little bit more white base. And it's just gonna go with my makeup look better. Gotta do what you gotta do. But I wanted to share that because I thought it was so pretty, but oh, the palette doesn't match my makeup, unfortunately. That's okay. 
This, by the way, I've been loving. That's a little update for you, it's great. I'm gonna set the outskirts of my face with this Ciate Bamboo Powder Bronzer. It's just a pretty basic bronzer. It has a lot of warmth to it, so I think it's gonna be good to set my base down. Okay, I can't tell you much about it, but I'll continue to use it. <laughs> So what's next is to do my lashes. I don't feel like opening up a new mascara because I've opened a lot recently, so I'm gonna do that off camera and we'll finish off with some lips. Now for lips, I'm gonna use this Vice Lip Bond from Urban Decay in the shade Pleased. I haven't used this color yet, I don't think. And if I did, just pretend you, you didn't see anything. I didn't use it. This formula is okay. It's not my all-time favorite. I've used the formula before, but I'm trying to break into colors that I haven't used yet, so. This looks like it needs a lip liner. This is not a new lip liner. I used this in another trying new makeup video. This is the Tower 28 one liner in the shade Draw Me, but it's going perfectly with this look. So we're going to use it anyways. It's still a new product. I've just gotten some experience with it. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. And then I'm gonna use my finger and blend it. If you were debating on whether or not you should get this lip liner, you totally should. I really like it. It's technically a multi-liner. So you can use it on eyes and lips, wherever you, what you want, I don't know. Okay, let's go into the Urban Decay now. This is a good fall lip combo. Maybe I meant much with the eyes, but it's fine. It's fall makeup. We can do a lot now. All right, guys, here is the final look. Once again, another really great fall look. I've been having so much fun kind of creating more fall-inspired makeup looks, even though this one is a little bit different. I mean, huge standout with the eyeshadow palette today. I think it is so beautiful. And I'm, I didn't like the eyeliner like that, but like I really like how black the eyeliner is. <laughs> it's such a good quality. And I kind of like the shape of the wings. It's different than what I normally do. I think it looks good. If you're new to my channel, I do speed reviews. So everything new that I tried in today's video, I will have in a future speed review. So you will hear back on an update from these products. But so far, I mean, I love the makeup look itself. Shout out to IT Cosmetics for this super glowy, hydrated look because my skin legitimately does look really hydrated. I felt like the rose might have dried it out for a second, but the glow came right back. I'm not digging the highlight. Like the highlight that I use is very pretty good quality. Just the color is a little bit too white for the look that I did. So that's where I made a mistake. But everything looks super yummy, delicious, good. So huge thank you to It Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link set down below to purchase everything that I talked about in today's video. Make sure if you purchase from It Cosmetics, you use the code MAGIC20 and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.